Okay, now we're going to go over some of the other MIDI contexts for the mouse modifiers in Reaper. We've gone over MIDI Note and MIDI Note Edge. Let's jump down to MIDI Ruler. This is what's going to happen when we click over here, up here in the ruler. And it's very similar to the ruler we did before, up here in the arrangement window, except it only applies to the MIDI ruler in the MIDI editor. So our settings can be completely different. So let's start off with left click. By default, it's set to move the edit cursor. So if we click over here, it moves the edit cursor. So we can jump around and play from here, or from here, or wherever. But again, we can change that. We can move the edit cursor, ignoring snap, select notes or continuous control data in the time selection. Let's choose that, which is what happens by default when we hold down shift. So if we create a time selection like this, and we click up here by holding down shift, it automatically selects all the MIDI notes or data in between the time selection. And if it overlaps, like here, it still grabs it. Let's do it again over here, make a time selection, hold shift and click right here, and it selects them. And by default, that happens when we hold down shift. We could also make it clear the loop or time selection, which is what happens by default when you hold an option on the Mac or Alt on the PC. So if we make a time selection over here, hold an option or Alt on the PC, click up here, it clears the time selection. And finally, there's another good place to put an action. Let's go down here to control or start on the PC. And we could add an action right here. Type in notes time selection. And we could choose set time selection to selected notes. So now if we hold down control, let's select some notes here. Hold down control on the Mac or start on the PC and just click up here. It sets our time selection based on the selected notes. Let's do it over here. Select this one and this one. Click up here with the modifier. Our time selection is based on the notes that were selected. And obviously, we could put any action we want right here or anywhere. So that's the MIDI ruler left click. But we also have left drag. And by default, it's going to edit the loop point or time selection. So if we drag up here, we can set our loop or our time selection. But again, we can change that. Can ignore snap as well. But besides setting our loop point and time selection, we can move the loop points or time selection, which is the default while holding down shift. So if you have time selection right here, and we hold down shift and drag, it moves it. Create another one, hold down shift, and we can move our time selection while keeping the length intact. We could edit the loop point and time selection together, or move our loop points and time selection together by choosing our modifiers right here. And the next option is to double click. By default, it's going to zoom to selected notes. So if we select some notes over here, let's choose these to these, go up to our ruler and double click. It zooms in to just those notes. Let's do it again over here with these notes. Double click up here, and it zooms in just to those notes, which is pretty handy for editing. But again, we can change it. And the only option besides this is the action list. But again, it's a great place to put things because we have all these modifiers here that are unused, like this one. Let's choose an action like quantize, quantize events to the grid. Now, if we hold down the modifier and double click up here, these notes are going to be quantized. So let's double click. Those notes are quantized. Do the same to this one and these two. 
double click up here, hold the modifier, those notes are all quantized. So it's a nice time saver and a great place to put some key actions or custom actions. Let's reset this. And that's the MIDI ruler. But we also have the MIDI marker region lanes. This only has left drag to choose from. And by default, it's set to hand scroll. And it has a few other options, which we'll check out. But first, let's see what hand scroll does. If we go up here, see what turns into a hand? This is the area we're dealing with when this is our context. MIDI marker region lanes, that's up here. So it turns to a hand so we can scroll just by grabbing it, which is pretty handy, but it can do more than that. We can add in horizontal zoom, which is a default while holding on command in the Mac or control on the PC. And what that does, we still get the hand to scroll, but if we move up and down instead of left and right, it zooms in and out. So we can scroll and zoom at the same time, at least horizontally. We could also move the edit cursor at the same time. So besides scrolling like this and zooming like this, when we click, it also moves the edit cursor. So we can do three things with that one command. Move it left and right, zoom in and out, and also move the edit cursor. But again, we can change all this and use all these modifiers to do any of those things. So that's the MIDI marker region lanes. Next, we're going to check out the MIDI piano roll mouse modifiers in Reaper. Let's go. <laughs> 